Good evening, everybody. <laughs> I just love watching a lot of TV. The program I watch mostly is the Jeremy Kyle Show. Oh, what a terrific show. He talks more sense than Derek Trotter, I can tell you that. <laughs> Here's something you would like to know. My engines like to do impressions of famous TV characters. They do them in their own time, though. I remember catching Bill and Ben trying to act like the Flowerpot Men. <laughs> to tell you the truth, if anyone asked me what role I would have in any film, I would say Genie from Aladdin. <laughs> but enjoy the special, as this was made for comic relief. Watch out for the famous voices, and try not to laugh too much. Hey, Thomas, can I ask you something? Not now, Percy. I'm having an interview at Bob Monkhouse. <sighs> it won't take long. I said not now. Have you ever seen a flying saucer? <laughs> a what? A flying saucer? You mean to say you woke me up to ask me if I've ever seen a flying saucer? Yes. Well, no, I haven't. Now go back to sleep. I've got an interview to finish. Hey, Thomas, can I ask you something? Oh, no, I'll never get that job. <laughs> it won't take long. Oh, all right then. But this had better be important. Do you ever like to imagine you're someone famous? Well, yeah, I do, actually. Why? I like to think I'm someone famous, too. I think everyone likes to think that, Percy. I'm going to do a very good Mr. Humphreys! <laughs> yeah, right! I can! Okay, go on then! Right then! <coughs> yes, well, I put my pyjamas on the bolster so that you'd think it was me in bed when you arrived. <laughs> wow! I'm impressed! <sighs> What's going on here? We're on about what it'll be like to be famous! Have you thought about being famous, Henry? I am famous. I pull the flying kipper. Well, I imagine I'm like John Inman. Can you do anyone good, Henry? Mm, I can do Arnold J. Ripper. Oh no, not that smeghead! <laughs> Go on then, Henry! Alright then. <coughs> I was glad to get rid of him. He's flipped. He's got mad droid disease. Get waving a banana in front of me and calling it a female aardvark. <laughs> wow. I am impressed. What the devil's going on here? Sorry, Gordon. We're doing impressions. We're trying to amuse ourselves. During the middle of the night. Present, eh? Well, I can do a very good Sergeant Major Williams. Yeah, right. Who's he? Old shut up, to put it mildly. Oi, I was at that. <laughs> you cannot do a Sergeant Major Williams impression. Yes, he can. I've heard him. Yeah, right. He can. He can't. He can. He can't. Shut up! <laughs> What's all the noise about? Some of us are trying to sleep. We're doing impressions to keep us amused. Oh, great. Now I'll never go back to sleep and finish off the interview. <laughs> what interview is that? Hmm? Oh, he was dreaming he was having an interview with Bob Monkhouse so he could get on the game. WILL YOU SHUT UP?! <laughs> well, I can do a good Eddie Hitler. You can? Hello? Dude! 
Did you really have to tell them my dream, Percy? I didn't know you wanted to keep it secret, did I? Well, it was meant to be, wasn't it? How was I supposed to know that? Well, I think it's completely obvious, isn't it? He's got no one to blame but himself. I mean, <laughs> it was him that started it all by appealing for cards. <laughs> Well, guess that puts my impression in the shade. I never knew you could do a good Eddie Hitler. Well, your thinking is very small, isn't it? It's not the only thing around here that's very small indeed. <laughs> your brain, for example, is so minute, Baldrick, that if a hungry cannibal cracked your head open, there wouldn't be enough inside to cover a small roof of his head. <laughs> You say that to me, James! Well, that does fit the description of you, doesn't it? <laughs> What's going on here? Sorry, Emily. Didn't mean to wake you up. Oh, it's not you, Percy. It's that stupid llama of Thomas! Someone's more crankier than cranky. <laughs> Who's that then? Hmm, looks like a cross between Thomas and Emily. I was referring to Thomas. <laughs> Are you good with impressions, Emily? Oh no. Here we go. Impressions? Yeah, I did Mr. Humphreys, Henry did Arnold River, Gordon did Old Shut Up! Oh, don't say that again. Sorry, Edward did Eddie Hitler, James did... Who did you do again, James? Edmund Blackadder. That's it! Can you do anyone, Emily? Well... I could do Cassandra Trotter. Oh, I know that character! All right, go on then. Yeah, I'd love to hear your lovely voice, Emily. Boring, boring, boring. Are you going to be like this for the rest of the evening, Thomas? Maybe. Well, if you don't behave yourself, Thomas, you'll find yourself chucked out of the shed! Yeah! Yeah, yeah you tell him! Okay, I'll behave myself. <laughs> Go on then, Emily. Let's hear your Cassandra. Okay then. <sighs> if I was to meet a handsome, wealthy young man and he asked me to marry him, I'd say, Ciao, Rodney, and you wouldn't see me for the tinted windows on his Porsche. <laughs> yeah. Well, I must admit, I am very impressed. Guys, I'm very sorry about my behaviour. I just wanted a good night's sleep. That's the right, little Thomas! You're forgiven. Just think before you say, okay? I will. Hey, Thomas, can you do a good impression? Yeah, Thomas, you must do a good impression of someone. Yes, I'd very much love to hear one from you. Well, I sometimes do Rick from the young ones. Really? really? <laughs> well, I'm not good at it. But I'll give it a try. Okay! Well, come on then, we you fail? off! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I've just seen the most amazing thing in the garden! <laughs> Neil biffed himself in the face with a flying pan! <laughs> uh, we don't have a garden. James? Get this into your thick dome. It was part of the impression. That was terrific. You got his voice. That's very funny. Do you want me to do it again? No. Oh, no, now shut up. <laughs> okay, I was just asking. Hey, I just thought of something. What's that, Bertie? Isn't comic relief tomorrow? Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Hey. We could do our impressions for charity! Yeah, Emily, that's a great idea! Hmm, Moses hope Alistair Macaran likes them. <laughs> we had better include Toby, too! Well, wait a minute, wait a minute! Who can Toby do? Oh, that's okay, James! Toby said he can do a great Count Dracula! Okay, then, we'll practice our impressions tomorrow! Right, now let's go to sleep. <sighs> 
Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> oh well. I hope you get on wipeout. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be helping. Goodbye. Oh, hello there. I've just now made my donation to Comic Relief. Oh, and you may have noticed my red nose I'm wearing. James is wearing one already. You'll see it as you go out. You can't miss it. <laughs> Comic Relief really needs your donations. And in 2009, they raised over 50 million pounds. <laughs> So, to donate, please ring this number. It's 0345 791 0910. Or go to www.rednoseday.com and keep an eye on the events that will happen tonight. <coughs>